Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. So BTS just flew to Washington, which means a brand new airport fashion. That is obviously what we're here for. Before we get into the video, I just want to apologize for being MIA here on YouTube. I went on vacation for 10 days. I wasn't posting. I posted a few videos when I got back and then I disappeared again. And if I'm honest, I'm not ready to talk about it. I'm a very private person. This YouTube channel isn't about my life or me. I don't really share much about myself. So I'm just, I'm not ready to share what has been going on. I hope you can respect that. I might talk about it at some point down the line, but not now. Okay. <laughs> like God, even just saying that was <laughs> hard for me. I am back on YouTube, but it's not going to be like before where I was uploading like four videos a week and a reaction would be up within hours of an MV coming out. I just can't do that at the moment. I need to take time for myself right now. Again, I'm not ready to talk about it, but I am back on YouTube. I will be uploading, but I'm not going to promise a set amount of videos each week. It's not going to work for me right now, but I enjoy making content. I've been doing it for four to five years, even before this become like more of a paid career journey for me. I was still uploading videos every week, so that's not going to change. It brings me joy. I absolutely love doing it. I love what we talk about here and I love the community that we've built. So yeah, just be patient with me. I will get back to the point where we're like on it full force putting all of the content out, but I just need, need a moment. And I don't know how long that moment's gonna be, so yes. It's even taken me 10 minutes to film this and it's gonna get edited down to like 30 seconds. So I'm just like, fuck it out. <laughs> anyway, now that's out of the way, BTS flew to Washington DC, new airport fashion. You guys know the drill. If you're new here, let me explain quickly. I've got all of the looks here on the laptop. We're gonna go through talk designers, references, silhouettes, all of that good shit. And then I'll be rating each look out of 10, 10 ones because we're at the airport. So let's start talking about the collective looks that BTS served up. And as a whole, I think this is possibly the most casual fashion I've seen BTS in at the airport, at least on my channel and what I have reviewed. This is true, true casual fashion. As a collective, this set of looks are insanely cohesive. There is a clear spring summer vibe. The silhouettes have a very similar cut. And when it comes to colors, there's this very neutral color palette and the denim that's been worn has very similar washes. So it keeps it very tight, cohesive as a group. It's a very strong presentation of looks. As much as I really like this incredibly chilled, casual summer vibe, I have to be honest and just say that this isn't my favorite BTS set of airport looks. And just let me explain why before anyone goes into the comments section and they're like, <laughs> I feel like the airport fashion we've seen from BTS this year, Vegas and now Washington, it has been extremely casual. But when we think of the looks that were served up in 2021, when BTS flew to New York, when they flew to LA, those looks just had something else about them. That certain je ne sais quoi, I was giving out chef's kisses here, there and everywhere. We were all obsessed. And those looks, yet whilst they were still casual, they just had something extra to them. When BTS flew to LA last November, for example, Sugar in that sexy, sexy leather jacket, we were all obsessed. J-Hope with the Louis Vuitton duck bag, I still want to know if that bag ever got a name, I'm never gonna find out. We had Jungkook in his staple all black outfit with those really sick, chunky Versace sneakers. And then we had V giving us that like, bad boy 70s businessman vibe. When BTS flew to New York for the UN event and JK walked out wearing that Louis Vuitton graffiti cohort. Favorite airport fashion look of 2021. We had V in that Louis Vuitton blue and brown moment, Jimin in that slick all black moment with the Louis Vuitton box bag. And then Sugar in that beautiful blue knit with those checkered jacquard black trousers with the sheen, like, the looks just had like something extra to them. Even though they were still casual, they just had that like 
extra like really like wow moment. The airport looks from 2021. They just had that extra bit of interest for me. And I don't know whether it was because we hadn't seen new airport fashion from BTS in two years, perhaps, you know, it gave us like a different point of view or perhaps because of the fact we hadn't seen airport fashion from BTS, they went all out and they just become global ambassadors for Louis Vuitton. So who knows? But I look back on the New York and LA looks whilst preparing for this video and I wasn't like, oh, it's because I hadn't seen anything for two years. I was like, these looks still serve. And by no means am I saying that these looks that have been presented in 2022 are bad looks or boring looks or anything like that. If you've watched my previous airport fashion video where they flew to Vegas, I was talking about how amazing BTS style casual fashion, the colors they used, the way they accessorize it with statement bags and accessories. They just do it in such a clean, beautiful way, but it just doesn't have the same strength as the 2021 looks. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you do. I'm like that smiley meme, the nails. If you guys watched my Met Gala video, you would have seen that I included a trend section and you guys really, really enjoyed it. So I thought I would do the same here. Why not? Our first trend is straight leg slash wide trousers. Every single member of BTS was wearing a straight or a wide leg trouser. And I think this is really reflective of fashion and how the industry's done like a whole 180 flip. If we look back at BTS's fashion before Miss Rona came about, it was very slim and skinny silhouettes on the legs, on the trousers, on the jeans. But if you look at what they're wearing now, we don't see that at all. And it's been the same in the fashion industry. Skinny jeans have been dashed out the window. If you still like them, you still like them. I know I was always in skinny jeans, skinny trousers, and now like I'm sat here in like ripped wide leg -like jeans, very similar to Sugar's. Actually, I feel like I'm giving like a mild sugar vibe, but you know, you know what I'm saying. So that's our first trend. Our next trend is statement bags. And I would say 90% of the members are wearing a statement bag. Wait for the review when I get down to the individual looks and you'll see why I say 90%. Awkward. But whether it's a canvas style like J-Hope's, that really slick trunk style by Louis Vuitton that Jimin is wearing, or more of an everyday style like Jungkook's Louis Vuitton Christopher backpack, or the main event of the statement bags is Sugar. Sugar served up the Hermes Birkin 50 Voyager and just look how big the bag is, the scarf on it. Statements. Let's jump into the individual looks and we're going to start off with my bias, Jimin. I have to admit, when I first saw this airport look, I thought it was Jungkook and I think it's down to the shoes and the bucket hat. And I was going through the rest of the looks and I was like, well, hold up then, where's Jimin? Surely this isn't Jimin here. And then I clocked it and was like, oh my God, I love, 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 love this look for Jimin. It's very Jimin, chic, clean, quite classic pieces but the bucket hat, the Bottega shoes, it gives it a certain edge. And I love it when we get like an edgy Jimin look. This is why Jimin is my bias. This is my favorite Jimin airport look that we've seen post Rona, hands down. This Sandro knit, the open weave of it, we're getting a cheeky little flash of knit. We can all see it. I'm sure some of you, most of you are very happy about that. Be honest, you are. <laughs> what I love about this look is that it is true casual fashion, but it still has interest to it. It still has edge to it. That denim bucket hat with the raw edge. And then we get the jumper, the open knit, that beautiful neckline, that oversized silhouette that's just perfectly oversized. You're getting the flash of flesh through it. And then they've been paired with those wide leg black jeans. The way that they're crumpling as he walks, it gives me more of a denim kind of vibe because it is quite like a strong, crumple if that makes sense and then he's got the Louis Vuitton mini soft trunk bag going across the body and then the Bottega Veneta rubber flash I will admit the style of shoe anything like croc or like similar to a croc it's not a vibe for me I just personally dislike it you will never see me in a pair of crocs oh. but if you like them cool fair enough you know what I always say this shit is objective but with this outfit, it works and it adds to the edge of the outfit. It's like very chic Jimin, but with like the touch of edge. I absolutely love this. And what I love about the jumper as well is that you can pair of trackies, sweatpants, and you're gonna be so comfy, but like 
you still got that element of design to the look. I'm gonna give Jimin 10 wings, no questions asked. Next up, Jay Hope, my bias tracker. And what I've seen on social media that I think is really interesting is you're all comparing this look to a look that I believe is from 2018, where he's wearing the denim jacket with nothing underneath, and then he's got the gray sweatshorts. And this look is 100% an upgraded version of that look. This look has a level of chicness, cleanness to it, and it just goes together perfectly. The look from 2018, I feel like is two different outfits. I don't think the shorts necessarily go with the denim jacket. Whereas here, where we've got the blue on the graphic of those white wide leg jeans, it ties into that denim jacket. And this denim jacket is just like, wow, the textures, the distressing, the patchwork, the fact that it's collarless, it just gives it such a point of difference. It's a very interesting piece to look at. All of the raw hems around the cuffs rolled back. It's got this deconstructed quality to it. And this is what I love about J-Hope style. Even though, yes, it's a denim jacket. Everyone can go out and buy a denim jacket. There is always a level of design to the pieces that he wears. And then you can just see that here in this outfit. The textures of the denim jacket, the graphic on that wide leg jean, and then he's got the Louis Vuitton slides on the green, again, tying into the graphic of the jeans. And then he's got that canvas bag with the same kind of graphic design. Everything ties together really well. It's just, it's just J-Hope style. You know I love J-Hope style. It's no shock. I'm gonna give J-Hope 8.5 wings. I love this look because it is like the epitome of J-Hope style, and we still got that very casual flair to it, but just that look, where he flew to LA with the duck bag, I just, I'm still not over it. That's like peak of like his recent airport look. So just, just being fair to the duck bag, okay? <laughs> Next up, we've got Jungkook, another bias tracker. And I'm just gonna be honest and say that I'm really disappointed with this outfit. Let's start with the pros of this outfit. And I only have two and uh, just, I just hate saying that. I hate saying that. What I like about this outfit is how we have that standard Jungkook oversized silhouette and he pulls it off so well and I love the fact that he always just goes for it. Oversized silhouettes can be really difficult to pull off, especially if you're doing a wide trouser with an oversized top. It's best to go for one or the other. I find that's more flattering on the majority, but he always pulls off this silhouette so incredibly well and I love how there's always just this like low-key grunginess to it, whatever he wears. And I, I just, I love it. I find it really hot. <laughs> the other thing I like is the shoe choice. It gives me a Timberland boot vibe and this outfit has a very kind of like noughties vibe about it. And that's when everyone loved a Timberland boot. So to pick out the Nike sneaker in that same color as a Timberland boot, it just gives it like a modern flair to it. But I just find this outfit so disappointing. Just thinking of what he wore flying to New York, that Louis Vuitton graffiti outfit, my favorite airport fashion look of 2021. That's still a casual look, but the print, the way it was styled, it just had so much attitude. It was so eye-catching. And we've seen other male idols in K-pop wear that shirt and it just makes you think of JK, do you know? And then when he flew to LA and he had that really sick all black outfit on, the perfect oversized cut, the chunky Versace sneakers on, again, like classic Jungkook. I just find this disappointing because, not being funny, anyone could buy these pieces and wear this outfit. And that's not me being shady, it's just saying how it is. All of his outfits have been like a certain level. And then like for me, this just hasn't lived up to like the standard of what he's been serving us. And I'm rambling because I don't like saying this, as I'm sure you can tell, but this is seven wings for me. It's just, I like certain aspects, a few aspects about it, but I'm just left wanting more. And it's not giving me like that usual Jungkook standard. <sighs> I didn't like that. Let's move on to Sugar and straight off the bat, this is 10 wins for me. I love this outfit. It's true casual, but we've got the statement with that giant Hermes Birkin 50 Voyager bag. Like look at this picture here. Look at the size of this bag. It is a statement. This is a true casual outfit, but there's still that level of design, attention to detail to it. And I just absolutely fucking love it. 
And the other thing I love is the levels of density in the t-shirt and the shirt. I love the sheer quality of this off-white shirt. It's very relaxed, casual, flowy. It looks incredibly comfortable. But the fact you can see like the t-shirt coming through, I just love the play on the levels of density. It looks so good. And then he's got the wide leg jeans on the knee holes, a very popular type of jean. I'm pretty much wearing the same <laughs> jean right now. And then I love the fact that he's folded them back. He's given them a turn up and he's just wearing a pair of flip flops with them. Usually I don't like a slide or a flip flop when it comes to like, you know, actually being out and about. But again, it's just personal. I feel like they're gonna fall off my feet and yeah. But it works here, it adds to the vibe and I like the fact that they're black because it ties into the bag. It pulls the black bag into the rest of the outfit. And then Sugar can't carry a bag without some kind of keychain scarf accessory on it. And that's exactly what he's done here. And the blue and the scarf, it ties into the denim and then it also ties into the denim of the other members' outfits. 10 wings everything slaps. This is such a fantastic look. Next up, RM Daddy Thickums. I like this outfit, but this is where I said 90% of the members were carrying a statement bag. And it's the bag for me, which just throws me off. Every other member has a statement bag, whether it's more of a slick style like Jin, a more casual style like JK, J-Hope. And then obviously we've just spoke about Sugar with his like statement Hermes Birkin. And then we have RM and the bag that he's wearing, arguably it goes with the outfit, but for me, it just gives me like school vibes. It gives me a satchel kind of vibe. And it just, when all the other members of the group are giving us like an absolute serve of their bags, and then we've got this like canvas brown satchel bag. Yes, it goes with the outfit, but it's just like everyone else is like here and then arms bags here. Do you know what I mean? It was just like, ooh. It goes with the outfit, but RM, we know you've got nicer bags. We've seen them in your previous looks. Every time I've reviewed your previous airport outfit looks, I've been like, yes, look at the bag, look at the bag. I love the bag. Don't love this bag. <laughs> And I'm sorry. The rest of the outfit though, I love this outfit on him. It's a spring vibe. It still has that casualness that RM loves, that beautiful oversized silhouette. It's also nice to see him out of a sweatsuit. I know he looks great in a sweatsuit. We all think he looks fucking sexy in a sweatsuit, but this is like his summer version. The shirt and the pants are by Masira Yashuhiro and I just love how he's put the white with the slightly off-white trouser. It creates an interesting color palette. Then we've got the night dunk in the gray. It's all very muted. It ties into the other members. The khaki watch, again, it's the muted tones, but it's all different tones creating this really beautiful color palette. And the silhouette, like he looks great. I just literally want to like pull the bag off of his arm and just run in the other direction and be like, no, you can have the contents of your bag, babes, but you can't have the bag. Mm -mm. Like the bag. So overall, I mean, I've done a lot of rambling about RM's bag. I'm gonna give RM eight wings. Fantastic look. I'm just deeply offended by the bag. Next up, we've got Jin and Jin just always looks incredible. Mr. Worldwide Handsome. I love his sense of style. It is very minimal and clean and he knows how to put pieces together. Even though this is a t-shirt and a pair of trousers, just the way he tucks stuff in, it just adds an extra flavor to the outfit. The way he styles pieces, the bags that he carries, the shoes that he wears, is very sophisticated. The Tom Brown Mr. Tom bag, of course he's carrying a Tom Brown bag, girl. It can't be a gin look without some Tom Brown flavor thrown in there. And this bag is beautiful. You guys know by now, I love a black statement sleek piece and just, this is giving it. And then we've got the Louis Vuitton and the gold t-shirt. We've seen Jin wearing this in previous airport looks and you know what I'm gonna say? I love it when we see idols re-wearing pieces. Fashion isn't something that you buy one piece, you throw it away. I know fast fashion is what's marketed to us to do that, but the consumer is also the problem. If you're buying a top, wearing it once and throwing it in the bin, or even just giving it to Goodwill, whatever, you're still part of that problem. So re-wear your shit. Buy something nice and re-wear it. 
this is what Jin is doing. Let Jin be your inspiration. This is a fantastic piece. And every time you've seen him wear this t-shirt, it's been styled completely differently. Jeez, the passion coming out. Jin has then finished off his look with this pair of slick beige straight trousers. They have a really nice press down the front of them. And then he's got that clean white sneaker. I believe it is the Ab... Absis? Nope. Abess? Abesses. I believe it is the Abesses Derby by Louis Vuitton. I'm sure I've just absolutely butchered that, but it wouldn't be me without pronouncing something wrong, would it? So... <laughs> I'm gonna give Jin nine wings, no questions asked, just a slick Jin all over. He looks so handsome. Let's finish off with Mr. V Taeyang. Again, this is another look that I'm disappointed by. I'm just gonna be honest. I am really disappointed by this look. It is a nice, true casual look. The way that he's pulled the colors together, the white sweatshirt with those like beigey, oat mealy, Jill Sander cashmere sweats. The textures, great, beautiful. We're getting luxury in our true casual look. And then he's got that crossbody bag, which I believe is by Delvo. I found the fashion credits on Stylish BTS's Twitter. And judging by the price tag of this bag being just over $46,000, I'm gonna guess that this bag is real crocodile. And that's what I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, well, I like the crossbody bag. I like the nude Nike sneaker with it. It's got the Chanel earrings. It is a nice, true, casual fashion look. However, I'm just left wanting more. Look at V's look when he went to the UN. The brown and the black printed Louis Vuitton shirt with the brown trousers. Such a sick look. The look when he went to LA and he was giving us the bad boy, like 70s businessman vibe. He looked so incredible. Even V's look when he flew to Las Vegas earlier this year, there's just so much more to it. The beautiful color palette of the different tones of browns and then that green coming through, the mute Boston bag, just the layering of the blazer, the shirt, the wide leg trousers, the brooch. Like, I know this is more of a smart casual vibe and we're getting a true casual vibe, but I just feel like the elements of V style that I absolutely like love are kind of lost in this look. And that's just why I find it disappointing. As I said, it is a good true casual look, but it's just not like to the standard that I put V at, you know? And that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, okay? So I'm gonna give this seven wings. I like the color palette, the textures, the luxury vibe, but it's not up to my usual standard of his looks. Jimin and Sugar have to be my standout looks from this video. They just absolutely served it up. It was casual, but just the elements, the edge on Jimin, that beautiful statement Birkin bag on Sugar's just <sighs> slayed. I'm really intrigued to see what BTS are gonna be wearing to the White House. I'm predicting some really slick, beautiful cut tailoring. And perhaps that's why BTS went for a very casual moment at the airport to give that juxtaposition. We shall see. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this set of airport fashion. Do you agree with me thinking that the 2021 looks were just that extra nudge in front or do you love this very true casual style for BTS? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who subscribed. You are amazing. And thank you for being patient with me and continuing to be patient with me whilst I get back in the flow. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.